Hey beauties and welcome back to Beauty's World. So today we have some new weave. And if you wanna see how I slay this unit, stay tuned. I got me some new weave and this is the 360 uh, lace wig you guys what that means is that this hair has lace all around the perimeter all the way to the back it's kind of similar to a lace front wig but you have way more lace on it because it goes all the way around the hair and it goes all the way back I would say it stops right here so maybe like four inches back. I'm thinking that's about four inches back. This is the natural state of the hair. I just got dressed, did my makeup and all that good stuff. So I'm about to see what I'm gonna do with this hair. So we're gonna just play with it. And I'm just gonna go on this journey with you guys right now. And we're gonna see how this hair works. I'm gonna go ahead and take this little thing off my head. See what we're working with. And I did go ahead and um, pluck the hairs. I bleached the knots and I kind of tinted the hair. Not kind of, I did tint the hair. And I think I went a little bit too dark. So I had to go back with a little bit of foundation up in here. I'm um, not sure if you guys can tell that I did that. Um, let's just grab my mirror. Just gonna comb it back. Uh oh, I need to put some more got to be glued, honey. So I use my got to be glued around my edges here to hold it down. And as you see, I just put this over it and held it down for maybe 20, 30 minutes just so you know everything gets nice and flush with my skin. And so I'm just gonna brush it back so you guys can see the hairline. I kinda didn't do a great job putting it down, but I think it's kinda decent. As you can see there, I need to put some more got to be glue. I might as well go ahead and do that since it's coming up. And I just use my fingers and pull it down. And I'll just fan it or use my um, blow dryer, but I don't have it near me. So I'm just gonna fan it a little bit and then I'm just gonna pull it down. Because it doesn't really take that long to get tacky. So, I'm just gonna pull it down like that. You see that, guys? And on this side, it didn't go all the way down to this part because my head, I guess, is too big right now because I have my hair in a ponytail and my hair is very thick. I need to braid it back so that it will be, you know, nice and flushed with my head. But I'm just working with what I have right now. And up here it looks like I'm going bald, but I'm not. I just kind of over bleached the knot. So you can kind of see that when I'm looking down, you might see a little spot like that, but it's just the knot. It's not going bald. It's very full density. Um, and a quick way to fix that is just use some mascara. And like I said, it's a 360 wig, so it's gonna go all the way around the back. And this is what I'm gonna show you guys. I had just threw my hair in a ponytail, so it's kinda like bunched up in the back, so I wouldn't be rocking a updo right now. I would braid my hair back and have my hair ready for a full installment. Right now, I'm just throwing the wig on just to test it out, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like back there. You can see um, it's more lace right here. That's my ponytail, you guys. It's going all the way up here. <laughs> okay, so I was gonna go do baby hairs, but I think this looks nice and natural. So I'm thinking I'm not gonna ruin it trying to do some baby hairs because sometimes baby hairs can go a little bit overboard and I've done it many times. I'm not even gonna front. So I'm just gonna leave well enough alone and I'm gonna leave that. I've already sprayed a little bit of um, heat protectant on the hair. So now we're just gonna go ahead and dive into the curling process. And um, I'll have more information on this hair in the bottom bar below if you wanna know like the um, stats on this hair. Like I said, this hair is some nice hair. The ends are not dry. It, I don't really see split ends. It didn't smell bad. So, so far so good, it's nice. And like I said, it looks like I got a bald head, but nope. Just those knots, you guys, just those knots. Um, and how I'm gonna do my curls is I'm gonna just do it every other way so that I can get more bounce to it. As you guys can see, the first one I went away from my face and this one I'm going towards my face. And I'm just gonna keep rotating it like that throughout the head. You guys see what I'm talking about? When you do the curls the opposite way, you get these big bouncy curls, big bouncy hair. 
And let me go ahead and fix this. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do that too. Just in case you run into that type of problem when you're bleaching your hair and you over bleach it, you wanna be able to fix it. All right, so the mascara I'm gonna be using is uh, from Maybelline. It's just an old mascara that I had. Don't use a good mascara on this. Just use one that's from like the dollar store or something. It will work just as fine, but you see that all of that is over bleach knots. And I'm just gonna go over it like that. As you can see, it's already looking so much better. I'm just trying to get it mostly on the root area like that. You see that? Already looks good. And I'm all done, you guys. That was a super quick do. Oh, so pretty. So I'm just gonna show you guys some of the hairstyles you can wear. So that's just a fraction of the hairstyles that you can rock with the 360 wig. I really, really like it. So if you wanna know more about this hair, please make sure you check out the bottom bar below. All the information will be there, all the links and all that good stuff. And yeah, that's it you guys. Um, make sure you check me out on all my social media networks. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Click that little bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. And I think that's about it, you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.